안녕하세요. Hey. This is w i d l e from IKEA Korea Selling Team. And my name is Anton, and I work in home furnishing and retail design. 오늘은 IKEA Korea의 제품 이름에 대해서 알아보도록 하겠습니다. Honestly, as I don't speak Swedish, so it's hard for me to remember and even pronounce the product name here at IKEA. Ah, I can imagine. But once you know the meaning behind the words, maybe it'll be easier to remember. Maybe it can be much more fun <laughs> when I shop fun. around IKEA. Do you know how to say good morning in Swedish? Good morning. Good morgon. Good morgon. We named our bathroom range Good Morgon because it's the first room the customers see in the morning. So we want them to have a good morning. Oh, that's very nice. It's very easy when you explain it like that. Do you want to look at some other names? Yes. Let's do it. Do you know why IKEA started to name its product after certain Swedish words? Of course I do. Our founder, Ingvar Kamprad, he had a dyslexia. Mm. So he started to name the product with a familiar Swedish word. Mm. So he wouldn't forget. Yeah, that's true. But we do have certain rules. Big furniture like sofas or beds, we name after a certain area. And we have children products named after animals. Flower pots are named usually after herbs or fruit. Outdoor furniture is named after Swedish islands. If it's in Korea, then it would be like a sofa name with a Gwangmyeong, Goyang, Giyeong, and Dongbusan. <laughs> and maybe plant pod would be Sagwa. <laughs> yes, like apple. Yeah, right? apple. Yeah. And actually, this outdoor furniture is named Eplare, oh, which Eplare. means Apple Island. Because if you have this O oh, with two dots, uh -huh. it means island. So all the outdoor furniture is named after Swedish island. Remember I told you that all the big furniture is named after big areas of Sweden and Norway? Yeah. So, here we have Stockholm. Oh, it's capital of the Sweden. Yes, so this is the Stockholm collection. And that's a connection to Sweden, both when it comes to design and quality. You know, Stockholm, Stockholm. Stockholm. All of it's named Stockholm. Oh, that's why this has been so much beloved. Ah. Here we have Billy. Billy is, uh, is the name of our bookcase. It's our top selling bookcase. Yeah. A lot of the bookcases and desks oh. are named after boys. Ah, then maybe the bookcase is like c h o l s u and maybe some desk for y o u n g h e e Yeah, we have a lot of uh, products that have names. Do we have some products named after Anton? No, we don't. But we did. <gasps> did we? Mm, we used to have a desk series called Anton. It was beautiful. High quality furniture. <laughs> as beautiful as you are. Maybe. So remember, mm. I told you that plant pots mm. are named after spices and fruits that we use in our homes? Yeah. In this room, I see sugar and I see garlic. I don't see sugar and garlic. <laughs> really? Where is oh, it? Oh, t s so easy. This one, this plant pot is called s o k e r Socker? Socker. Which means sugar. Ah, uh -huh. high sugar. <laughs> And over here, yeah. we have garlic. Where? Where? Garlic. So, v i t l ö k means garlic. v i t l ö k v i t l ö k And you can grow garlic in the garlic pot. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> yeah, so all the pots are named after fruits and spices we use in our homes. Morsning. 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 What's morsning? It means good morning. Good morning? Yeah, so oh, we've learned about good morgon. Yeah, so actually good morgon is more, that's the real way to say good morning. Uh -huh. But morsning is more casual, like morsning. Morsning, Anton. Morsning. Morsning. 여러분, 구독, 좋아요. 알림 설정 잊지 마세요. 헤이더.